More than two months after a Grandfield woman suddenly disappeared, her family's still seeking answers. Hello, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Daryl Franklin. And I'm Melanie Townsend. 24-year-old Stormy Rodriguez was last seen by family in Grandfield at around, around June 15th. And since then, one other possible sighting in Lawton. Lauren Linville joins us now after speaking with Rodriguez's grandmother. And Lauren, this must be so difficult for them. Yeah, it certainly is. Now, Barbara Witt hopes to spread the word of her granddaughter's disappearance so that someone somewhere might have some answers. It's been a long, unimaginable two months for one Granfield family. It's like an empty feeling that you can't do anything about because you have no idea what to do. Barbara Witt's 24-year-old granddaughter, Stormy Rodriguez, suddenly disappeared without a trace around June 15th. We want her found. We just want to know her whereabouts, if anybody has seen her. Someone believes they did see her, the spotting in Lawton occurring around July 20th. Witt says the person who told them believes also it could have just been someone who looks like her. When I talked to a police department, they told me that it, that it must be filed, the missing persons, where we last saw her. So we last saw her in Grandfield. Rodriguez hasn't been heard from by her family in more than two months. Her whereabouts, a question they so desperately want answered. I don't like being a pessimist, but it's hard to be real optimistic at this time. I just have a horrible feeling that, that we won't find her. A plea for a safe return home, this grandmother hopes, is heard by people who may see her in passing and one person in particular. Stormy, if you see this, Please go to the police station. Please. We do love you, and we want only the best. Despite a growing concern over Rodriguez's situation, Witt isn't giving up. I will not lose faith because whatever, whatever, there is an answer. And I know that God's still upon the throne. Now, if you see Rodriguez or know her whereabouts, contact local authorities. The family believes she could be or have been in the Electra, Wichita Falls, or Lawton areas. Mm -hmm. Lauren, thank you. We wish the family the best and of get, luck. Hopefully, they'll get those answers soon. Yeah.